de Semana Santa was when I was studying abroad in Sevilla. I had the opportunity to play the trumpet in La Banda de Musica de la Cruz Roja, and it was the first time that I had ever heard any of the marches, seen a procession, or listened to someone sing a saeta. It was an absolutely amazing experience, and I'll never forget it. A couple years later, I met my husband Pedro, who's from Malaga, and he told me I had to come down and see Semana Santa in his city. I wasn't sorry that I came for a minute. It was absolutely beautiful. And this year, we decided to make a video to show you all why the Semana Santa here in Malaga is so special. As you can see, this is the social. Everyone comes with their whole family. A lot of people bring lawn chairs or beach chairs and they sit out waiting. There's people selling soda. There's people that bring a sandwich from home. There's even people that have a party and have everybody come over to their house so they can see from the balcony the procession. We're waiting for the Cruz Guia, which is the guiding cross, and it's the first thing in the procession. They have little published um, routes that they take, all the processions, and the Cruz Guia has to be wherever it says that it's going to be at the hour that it's supposed to be there. And that's how everybody knows where to come and watch the procession. In fact, we've come into the 21st century and there's even an iPhone app. It's called iCofrade. And it tells you where the procession is in real time. So you can follow this little arrow around and know exactly where the, process the processions are. So it's really handy if you want to see more than one. You can go from one place and then run over and see the other processions. covered with sugar and this one is with honey so it's very very sweet and delicious and it turns out that this dessert has been around since the middle ages um, it was made originally to use up the extra bread because they made the same amount of bread as all throughout the year but because you couldn't eat meat during Lent they didn't use up as much bread so they had leftover and this is what they did with it. really common in Semana Santa is that the kids go around and they try to make a ball out of the wax from the candles of the Nazareno. So you can see here the kids are asking and they're making their ball and some of them make it from year to year so they save it and they make sure it gets bigger and bigger. Wednesday in 
Malaga, there's a special tradition. They let one prisoner from jail go free. And this dates back to the time of Carlos III. During his reign, there was an epidemic of the plague, and no one was there to take the trono, the float, out in the street. So some prisoners volunteered to take out the float and go around and have the procession. They came back to jail of their own free will, and Carlos III was so impressed that he let them go free. And so the tradition started from there, and it continues to this day.